the free provision of water and electricity was extended by three more months for lifeline consumers as the country continues to grapple with the COVID-19 pandemic. Although the relief packages for Ghanaians ended in December 2020, per government's initial plan, the president said the extension for the vulnerable had become necessary to lessen the impact of the pandemic. In his 21st COVID-19 update to the nation on Sunday, January 3, 2021, President Akufuado announced that lifeline electricity consumers and households whose water usage did not exceed 5 cubic meters per month would not pay any bills in January, February and March 2021. In April 2020, government announced that it would provide free water to Ghanaians until June 2020, but the policy was extended to December. However, there are some who have reservations about government's extension of the free utilities. And one of these people is economist Dr. Lord Mensa. Let's look at the benefits that we intend to accrue for providing this uh, free in for the next three months. Now, I would say um, with the easing of the economy and the, the nature of um, our revenue generation, I will go directly to say that, yes, um, for me it wasn't necessary because um, now the, the, the people will start moving around. The generating, you know, activities, revenue generating activities of the country will start improving. And so I'm expect, I was expecting that, okay, fine, um, the government will stop this um, water provision um, in the form of that um, free um, accessibility. So uh, for me, the impact, it's going to be rolling deck, but the benefit um, for me, I'm yet to, I'm yet to um, assess it. Um, I, I would say it, it wasn't necessary at this time. I think uh, now that he announced uh, movement and um, easing of the system, I, I think we should have ended it over there. On the other hand, another economist, Dr. Edu Wususakodie, insists that the impact of the pandemic still lingers, and any help offered by the government to the masses will help in the long term in revamping the economy. What government, I wouldn't even call it previous, I'll call it essential provisions. What government has done so far is to mitigate the negative effects of COVID, to help the various economic agents, the households, the support for households, and also the support for businesses. What the government is doing now is to save the lives of human beings and the lives of businesses. And I don't think that I'll blame the government for doing this. It's not as if there's going to be an extra burden on government. All these things have already been budgeted for. The government has taken $1 billion from IMF, some $230 million from the Stabilization Fund, and some money from the Bank of Ghana. So I don't think it's going to be any extra burden on government's coffers. Uh, I do believe that these are essential provisions that are necessary. Even though academia may be divided over this move by government, what do Ghanaians make of the policy? It will be very grateful to us if he takes that aspect also. Because due to the COVID aspect, you could see those of us using electricity are mainly workers, private workers. And then with that aspect, you know, most of the private jobs got um, let me say, it got to a certain point that they're not working. So with that, paying of the electricity bill also became a problem. So when it took that three months out of it, it helped us.